The Moana 2 view Abrams tank, not to be confused with U.S. Army's latest tank, made clear operational debut at multinational exercises in Romanian sea. The Moana 2, formerly known as the Moana 2 system, upgrade package version 3 appears in imagery published by U.S. Department of Defense to mark the commencement of Justice Eagle on 29 May 2019. United States Romanian War Games at the Smarten Training Area of Romania. The tanks appear to belong to the 1st Battalion 16th Infantry Regiment, part of the 1st Infantry Regiment Armored Brigade Combat Team, 1st Infantry Division, whose headquarters is Fort Riley in Kansas on one or two just saw abrams. Boasts new active and passive protection that can help protect it from the latest enemy weaponry. The most notable new feature of the C-102 is the Active Vehicle Trophy Additional Protection System, an armor plate, on the front of its turret trophy uses radar to detect incoming missiles and rockets, then fires small projectiles to intercept ammunition. What gives the presence of the Umwana 2C in Romania? The Umwana 2C is the latest variant of the Abrams, which entered production the Army in late 2017, received the first Umwana 2C Tank Congress of Abrams tanks in 2019, gave the Army $1.5 billion to buy 135M from General Dynamics, expanded the program, started in the 1970s. The Army's budget proposal for 2020 calls for 174 new and upgraded tanks after several years of production. The service has enough from one to 2CS to equip an entire brigade. Kennedy, a manager at General Dynamics Tank Plant in Lima, Ohio, said the U.S. The Armored Brigade usually operates around 100 Army tanks, having 16 armored brigades as part of the total strength of 58 combat brigades. The 1st Brigade is very important because we need to get them into the hands of the Army so they can be trained on that and other things that Kennedy said the 1st M1 entered service with the Army in 1980. The original M1 packed 105mm guns Army bought 3,300 of them. In 1984, Army added thicker armor to the new M batch and called these 900 tanks in one U.S. military IP, no longer using these early M's major upgrade, in 1986 added new 120mm guns these were on one one Army and Marines, bought 5,200 copies, till 1992 approx approx 1,000 M, um, one in service with other Marines and National Guard soldiers, 3,000 or more in storage, there is a bewildering number of sub-variants. For the one one which respectively boast incremental improvements in drill train armor and electronics, the one one size latest upgrade has new engine digital electronics from the factory and a secret armor mix that includes a thin layer of uranium. The Army plans to retire all M1-1 assays by 2025 M1-2 appears in 1992. This is a fairly new tank with better armor than the base M1-1 plus a new internal layout and new sensors that allow the gunner and commander to independently search for targets. The Army has gained about 1,500 M1-2 and converted most of them to system upgrade pack version come standard um one a 2 Abrams system. Upgrade pack version 2 um one a 2 Abrams at CP2, described by General Dynamics, as the tank features a high-end digital computer, a remotely operated machine gun on the turret, and a dozen batteries that allow the tank to operate its sensors in peace without starting the engine. Um, one 2 c in essence, is the more protected um one 2 Abrams C2, which is also easier to upgrade than trophies, and more new tank armor offers more power, better diagnostic system, and data link, compatible programmable ammunition types. Currently in development of the Abrams, um one 2 c can accommodate any mature technology. The Army deems operationally relevant, the Army states the latest version of the um one is arguably the best tank in the world. For now, Russia and China are both developing new fighting vehicles. Tanks Russia's high-tech fleet has run into development issues. China has fielded hundreds of new Type 99 tanks, roughly similar to the mid-generation Digital M. But China is having a hard time adapting old-style doctrine to its new armor, anticipating the day when Russia continues the modernization of its tank corps, and China seeks to deploy its own new fighting vehicle the U.S. Army. 
Already planning a new M1 variant to follow the M1 2C cornerstone technology from M1 Attitude is a new infrared sensor. According to the latest Abrams Army, it will also use a new laser rangefinder and will be compatible with state-of-the-artificial intelligence, which could make the tank more autonomous.